Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be on wallets and personal security. So quite often, uh, when I'm at either the gas station, grocery store, uh, wherever there's a cash register and people are waiting, uh, the people in front of me get their wallet open, men or women, and their driver's license is completely visible. I can see their name, their address, or on some women's uh, wallets, uh, there's another view, uh, viewfinder thing where the credit card's at, and I can see the credit card numbers. So from a security standpoint, or personal security standpoint, that leaves you completely open. So when people are what I call shoulder surfing, they can social engineer some stuff off of you just by looking at um, your details. So if you got your driver's license right here, and someone's looking over your shoulder, they can see your full name, address. If you have one of those wallets that has another clear viewfinder and you get your credit card right there, they can see your whole credit card number, expiration date, etc. And for those people who have photographic memories, they just look at it once and they got it memorized. If there's a crazy person, um, say, you know, you're in the gas, you're in the gas station, whatever, you're in line, you got your wallet out, some crazy Ted Bundy, Buffalo Bill kind of dudes behind you, and your driver license is fully visible. If they think that your severed head would look really cool on their bedpost, or that your skin would make a really good lampshade cover, um, they know your, your address, and all they gotta do is just follow you there. They don't even have to follow you there, they just show up there later because they, they know the address now. So one thing uh, to do to, to combat that is have your IDs flipped around so that none of your personal identifying information is being shown. So what I have here, what you see, this white right here, is the back of my concealed carry license. It's just blank on the back. So I use that to my advantage, flip it around, that's all you see. And behind it, I've got my other IDs, one of them being the Kentucky driver's license. So all the information as far as where I live, my full name, date of birth, etc., is hidden by this blank card right here. If you don't have a card that you'd be keeping in there that has a blank side on it, you could use one of those um, fake credit cards that these credit card companies send out in all their little junk mail. You open it up, it has a little fake credit card on there. You take one of those things out, slip it in there. You can use an old um, gift card that doesn't have any money on it anymore. Just throw that down in there and use it as a, um, as a barrier, so to speak, so that, that, to hide your info. Credit cards, same thing. Um, you can flip them around to the other side if you have the kind of wallet that has another viewfinder right here. Flip it around to the other side, that way people can't see all your numbers. Um, even if you don't have a viewfinder, I would still recommend turning it around the other side because if you have the type of card that has the raised numbers on the side, on the front side, well then when you put this in your wallet, and over time, it being pressed up against your butt and the seat, and there being a lot of pressure on there, those raised letters on the card can be then imprinted on the leather of the wallet. So even when you take the card out, you can still see those numbers imprinted right there. So if you were to ever get a new wallet and throw this wallet away, and some homeless dude going through the trash finds it, or someone else trying to social engineer you, and going through trash, trying to get stuff. Now they have this wallet with um, a credit card number imprinted on it. So my recommendation is to flip all your cards around, make them where they're not very visible to you, to other people who are trying to shoulder surf and, and social engineer on you. If you like this video, or have any questions or comments, go ahead and go down to the comment section, give this video a like, share it with your friends, family, especially the women. 
in your life uh, that you know, mom, sister, whoever, um, the ID part is probably the most important thing for a lot of women to think about is making sure your personal and inter your personal information is not visible. Because like I said, you got crazy people out there, some Ted Bundy or Bill, Buffalo Bill kind of dude, see your name, address, and just show up your house later and turn you into a lampshade. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.